Before Christmas, MPs will vote on this deal. It will be one of the most significant votes that Parliament has held for many years. On it will depend whether we move forward together into a brighter future or open the door to yet more division and uncertainty. The British people don't want to spend any more time arguing about Brexit. They want a good deal done that fulfills the vote and allows us to come together again as a country. So I will take this deal back to the House of Commons, confident we have achieved the best deal available and full of optimism about the future of our country. Ma un giorno tristissimo, vedere un paese come il Regno Unito, e questo varrebbe per qualsiasi paese lasciare l'Unione Europea, non può essere accompagnato da champagne e da applausi. È un giorno triste. And I think it's fair to say that this is a historic council and that today has been a historic day, triggering uh, a mix of feeling because on the one hand it is tragic that Great Britain is withdrawing from the European Union after 25 years, but of course we have to respect the decision and the vote taken by the British people. Next, some said uh, it would not cost anything and it would um, actually bring about some um positive financial elements for the United Kingdom. But the cost is huge, huge. And um, once again, those who said that the British people would save uh, um, hundreds of billions of um, pounds or euros have lied. And uh, the cost is in the agreement. So I'm not amongst those who are saying that it's nothing. Please. I insist upon the fact that it is taking more time, it is more expensive and more painful than some said, um, but we shall not, that being said, have a punitive approach in order to, for it to be a deterrent. We can be happy, there is a little note of sadness, but we are also confident that when we complete this process, we will have a partnership strategic privileged with the United Kingdom sarà forse, anzi sicuramente, l'accordo tra Unione Europea e un paese terzo più avanzato e potrà essere un modello anche per il futuro. Ma guardi, ieri è stato un clima molto sereno, come ho detto, di confronto, c'è un dialogo aperto, abbiamo parlato. Ecco, vi dico anche di che cosa abbiamo parlato, vi faccio vedere? Questa è un'anteprima. Ho parlato di queste, di quello che stiamo facendo. In cinque mesi stiamo rivoluzionando il paese e continueremo a farlo. So we call on Russia to ensure unhindered uh, access to Ukrainian ports and allow freedom of navigation for Ukraine 
in the Sea of Azov and the Kirk Strait. There is no justification for the use of military force against Ukrainian ships and naval personnel. So we call on Russia to release immediately the Ukrainian sailors and ships it seized yesterday. Thank you.